Can you feel the excitement? I know I am super excited to let you know who won the Taste of America competition. Now, this is the final chance for anybody who would like to enter on online, um, and this will be the conclusion of our summer series. This competition was super spicy and super fun because we had our friends at Two Gringos, Chupacabra, help us out by sending all the competitors a lovely sampling of some of their products. And let me tell you, they're absolutely amazing. If you did participate in this and you are coming to Dallas this year, whether you're in seafood or barbecue or steak, check these out. This is a great quality product that's really going to make your life easier at the event. So give them a try. So I know you're all waiting to hear who won. So let's go ahead and start off with people's choice. Now, this was obviously a very popular dish on social media because Mr. Bobby Oliver from Chocotal, Oklahoma is our winner. He won with his winning recipe, Twisted Pork Feast. It looked absolutely delicious. You got to check it out. Now, Bobby is going to be mailed a lovely gift basket from the sponsor, and that's going to be mailed to him. We'll be contacting him soon for that information. So let's go to it. We have three spots left. Now, let me tell you what's in common with all these people. They use the product, not just one product. They use many products. I think that's kind of key in this competition. They not only use them, but they use them in very clever and different ways to really bring out that flavor and showcase these lovely spices from Two Gringos Chupacabra. So they're also, by the way, men. All our last three are men for a little hint here. So let's go ahead and start with third place. Now, all of these next winners are going to be receiving a fee waive. That means a $500 fee is waived, a golden ticket to come to this year's event in Dallas, Texas. Our third place winner is none other than Fletch Miller from Foley, Alabama. Uh, Fletch has been trying so hard and one of my one of the great competitors at World Food Championships. And he made a dish titled, Oh, My Gringo, This Crab Cake is Choop. Delicious, very clever title, very catchy. And let me tell you, he used the spices in every single element. He's been listening, he's been wanting to get in, and it was just really unique. It's not your ordinary crab cake. He actually made his own breadcrumbs using the spice blends. He um, made a carrot puree and topped it with a really full, robust a chimichurri sauce that really made this crab cake sound really unique and different. And you know what? That picture was absolutely stunning. Got to check that out too. So congratulations, Fletch, and welcome to Dallas. Now, that means we only have two more golden tickets to give out before we go to Dallas. These two people have something in common too. They are both from Texas. That's clue number one. So let's go ahead and announce our second place winner. I also would like to say something about first place and second place. This was probably the tightest scoring in all of Taste of America this year. It, they were just a fraction of a point away. So they both did an excellent job, just so you know. So in second place, the winner is Tiago Corino from Houston, Texas. His winning dish was a chupacabra bacon wrap burger with mezcal mushrooms and onions and a lote mayonnaise. Now, Tiago used every single product, but he used it in such good and clever ways. And that's what really caught the judge's attention. Uh, he showed lots of skill. He smoked his burger. He wrapped it in bacon and covered it with spices. And to add a nice little creamy decadence and a little pop of Sweetness, he did that, you know, that, that uh, lote in his mayonnaise, um, sounded delicious, and then made a lovely dipping sauce for his fries, and he made a little shot out of a, uh, of a lime that was coated with the chupacabra. So he brought it through the whole entire recipe. Congratulations, Tiago. Can't wait to see you in Dallas. So that means we have only one more place, only one more golden ticket to give out. So let's have that drum roll for our final competitor. The first place winner is from Rockport, Texas, Mr. Mike Porter. 
He has his winning dish titled the Buckin' Bronco. Now, he really wowed the judges with this one. Um, I'm going to tell you, his picture was just fantastic. You wanted to jump out and eat that. It was a chicken sandwich, kind of something a little different. And what he did is he wrapped the chicken in some prosciutto. He fried it with lots of skill using rice flour to get it really crunchy. And it looked super crunchy in the pitcher. Then he made a homemade side. He actually did a onion petal that really cleverly used the products once again and a lovely dipping sauce. Fantastic recipe. So much to be proud of. And everybody out there that entered, congratulations. I know everybody gave it their best effort. And I hope you really had a good time, you know, doing this for just a fun project and to experience all these wonderful spices. Thank you so much for joining us this summer with our Taste of America series. We look forward to seeing everybody soon in Dallas. Have a wonderful summer and have a great time cooking.